Hello, this is Telecom TV. My name is Martin Warwick, and I'm here with Shahar Steif of PCCW. Shahar, good to see you. Before we start talking in more detail about developing APIs for NFV, let's start at a really basic level and ask you, what are APIs? So, APIs basically are the interface between entities. The entity could be within your own network. It could be your, your data layer versus your control layer, or it could be between the customer or application and your network. So APIs are, are, are whatever comes in between. It's, it's, it's the surface through which interaction between entities occurs. Can you tell us how should an operator go about deploying SDN and NFV to deliver the very best return on investment? I think the cost saving is not the uh, most appealing element for carriers when, when they consider uh, SDN and NFV. It is usually more of, of the uh, incremental revenue that's, that's the driving factor. If there is any cost saving, it's probably going to be more again uh, in terms of, of operational efficiency by being able to, uh, to better manage the, the, the load on your, on your circuits and maybe shuffle, shuffle traffic around uh, so that you can, you can better utilize your existing bandwidth rather than, than waste a lot of it uh, on being idle while other circuits are, are, are congested. And what do you think results in the best CAPEX and OPEX returns? So, so the right approach would be to abstract the services uh, and, and be able to represent the elements of the network in an abstracted manner. Now, once we have abstracted the, the elements, meaning the ports that I have available and the connectivity between those ports that is available, how much traffic can I, can I con connect from one port to another, I can then virtualize the services and I can then start programming them through a smart, uh, a smart platform. And, and then I can manage them through either through my existing or through new OSS platforms. So I think from a deployment perspective, uh, it's going to be more of an, of an IT work than of actual network redeployment. And what role do APIs have in the network virtualized future? And more importantly, perhaps, what benefits will that bring? If we're looking at a virtualized world, uh, an, an application world, one API could be to, to implement the network uh, elements, the, the transport uh, uh, elements. Another API could be uh, implemented, uh, could be used to implement the storage or the data uh, elements of, 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 this, of the service. Another API can be used to implement the uh, compute elements, meaning the VMs. So you can send either, it would be either be uh, three different APIs or maybe one modular API or, or one single API that encompasses all. And, and then there would also be another API for the application itself. Some applications can be requested through API. You can actually uh, abstract the elements and, and build it like, like Lego, Lego bricks, and you can build it on, on the spot. Others might be a bit too complex uh, to, to, to be abstracted, and then you'll probably need to have sort of uh, authorized, API, uh, so authorized applications, which you can call through an API, that will be stored in some sort of, uh, uh, probably a, an app store of some sort. And of course, they, they, they will need to be, uh, to be certified to work with a certain uh, VM, etc. And then you simply call the API, it downloads the, 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 uh, uh, the application, downloads it to, to the VM, creates the connectivity, creates the storage, brings the data, and you've got an application running in real time, a virtualized application. Shahar Steif, thank you.